So it appears we've lost the culture war. Big tech, the media, academia, Hollywood, and now the bulk of our federal government seems to be against free speech and their harassment of patriots because we have the audacity to still love freedom and the American Constitution. But you know, if you're like me, you won't go gently into that good night. We're fighting back. And we're doing it by controlling our own content and by bringing like-minded people on board. If I'm involved, we're gonna have fun. Shazam! Take action and become the man you are meant to be. We have an arc. The Warrior Poet Society Network. Help us grow stronger by joining the fight. Now's the time. Watch WPSN.com. All right, what's happening, my friends? Today, you're hanging out with Pro Knife Throwers. His name's Jason, and this guy is a ninja at throwing blades and axes. And whether you're interested in hunting or self-defense or just gaining a real cool hobby where you can get with friends, set up a board, and just throw sharp, pointy things, Jason's gonna square you away with the right stuff to get and how to do it. If you want more of this, you can check him out on our network. He's in the 100 Deadly Skills Combat Edition show on our streaming service, WPSN so make sure you check it out. So immediately jumping into the important stuff, I saw Under Siege with Steven Seagal. I watched him have an epic ninja-like battle in a kitchen. I need to know, could you take him in a kitchen or galley fight with knives? And two, can you teach me how to throw like him? Uh, one, uh, Steven Seagal is, uh, you know, all of our childhood have watched him. Um, movies are movies. So it's, it'll be like the movie, but it won't be like the movies. Sounds so, good. So yeah, I'll, I'll leave Steven Seagal alone. But Very good. We can handle and it. <laughs> so uh, I would like to learn how to throw knives. Evan is convinced he already knows how to throw knives, uh, but you have an interesting style. Uh, for me, when I throw it, it's just sometimes it sticks and sometimes it doesn't. And before we went on camera here, it's like every throw at whatever distance tooling around, all of them seem to stick center mass of that. Evan's you want me to show you how to do it? Yeah, show, show us how to do it. So you guys want to see about knife throwing, and this is what, what I would call combative application or projected cutting. So what I call this knife throwing, if you translate it to the real words, is projecting a cut, not throwing a knife. So I'm actually taking like a sword and cutting, like a cavalry saber. If I have a cavalry saber and cut, I don't stop my cut here and chop into the top of him and stop. Mm. I cut through all the way. And I build acceleration all the way through the cut and then let it turn and expel out. My arm won't come off but I'm gonna keep that power going all the way through, just like you would if you swing a bat or a, ball, a golf club or okay. anything like that. So that power is going to translate into projecting a cut. So if I make a cut, I don't go, I go through, Got it. right? So the same thing I'm doing when I'm throwing a knife. Um, in knife throwing, in actual application, their first most important distance, and there's, uh, you know, we can get into the reasons of this, but in the actual application of it, the first most important distance is where I can't touch my enemy yeah. and he can't touch me. Got it. Or if I'm within foot distance, push, throw, and go, right? Right. Just to get away from him from hitting me with a baseball bat or a golf club or a, a crowbar or whatever. So the actual act of this is when I pull my blade out, I'm gonna hold my blade like I would fight with it, which is not like this. But I transfer my grip to that. He makes me nervous. Well, why'd you back up? Because you're unsheathing that. You and just I PTG. Almost, you almost push, throw, cut go. my thumb off. Push, you, throw, go. He almost, look at that. He almost cut my thumb off. Nope. Dude, don't I, point I, can understand I was just going to show him where it was. So as a safety way. thing, do you sure. think everyone should be sheathed right now? Um, I, can, I can sheath it up. If he steps back like five or six or seven, 11 Yards. steps, you'll be all right. But you know. Got it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll watch him. Power on. Let, let's right. do the. So I, when I'm throwing that blade, it, it, what I want to do is Pull the blade to make sure that if I need to use it, if he closes the gap, you gotta cut him up. Okay. If not, and I have the ability to throw and go to deliver a force multiplier to fight to my next weapon, to fight to cover, or to get away, to mm -hmm. stop him from chasing me. I mean, that's the, the real principle here is a, a force multiplier to stop someone from so attacking So it hits me. harder when you throw it. Yeah, than when you stab. I mean, you can stab it here. Why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you go ahead and stab that knife into that target? As hard as I can. Grip it tight, though. And you see, let, let it go. Now, you see how little his knife stuck? Yeah. Now, don't take it out yet. I want to okay. show you something. All right. I'm going to throw this knife at it. And I'm just going to throw it from right here. Ready? Oh, wow. I can already <laughs> see. Wow. <laughs> That's yeah. a lot better. 
But you know wow. that this will vary in a man what he just yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Easy. Flesh is soft. Weighs nothing. But look, you know what I mean? Nothing to it. Yeah. Just comes right out. This one. Go ahead and pull that one out. Yeah. Give it a. Give it a little. Tug. Go ahead. Yeah. Man, that is awesome. Look at that. All right, we want to learn that. That's what we want to learn. So that Holy is a, a force projection. And that what that's I'm doing awesome. there is projecting my cut power forward. No, I mean, that's going to that that's gonna pin them to the wall, yeah. bro. That's it, awesome. It's, it's, Love that. It really Yikes. is a thing. Uh, uh, th I'll tell you what, the most accurate representation of knife throwing on the silver screen was ever was in uh, the movie Predator, where Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. was like, stick around, and he was like, yeah. smack, and it stuck the guy to the wall. Do you, that's really, you don't that right. see because yeah. you're just screwing around. So, but the thing is, I feel is like that I the, can do that. The projection of this is like, look, if I have to pull my blade, it's going to be an emergency. And it's going to be, a, if I have to throw my blade, it's because I don't have a gun or yeah. there's people behind that person or we're in a crowd. Because, look, if we're in a crowd of people mm. and I have my concealed carry or nine millimeter, you know the ballistics of that. If I go pop, 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 pop as I'm backing up, those rounds are going through you and yeah, up to a 60 right. degree angle through you. Yeah. Well, I have a lawyer attached to every single one of those bullets. And I would feel terrible if I shot somebody's grandmother. But this, I can engage the enemy indiscriminately, fire, turn, burn, grab pistol, whatever I need to do to re-engage the situation. But it gives you another tool in your toolbox. The same thing would apply with a can of soup. It doesn't matter. If you I'm sitting in a chair and someone's coming up with danger clothes, use the chair. Don't, don't have to be a knife. It's just the ability and the mental awareness to throw something with weight to deliver a, a, a force of impact. Mm -hmm. So it's great if you can get it to stick. It's great. So what I'm doing here is I'm throwing up close and all I'm doing is cut projecting. Yep. Cut projecting. And you see where I'm throwing, my right foot is forward. Yep. And look where my concealed carry would be. Yep. And then you're there. How'd you, know you know learn I mean? all this? Just do it. Just, uh, I grew up uh, as a carpenter on the farm, as a logical professor. So I mean, things just become. You didn't like. You just got to do it. You know? Climb a mountain and set zero seek temperatures the, to the burning seek a bush blue flower and, and just get talk totally you. high. Right. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> no, there was no burning bush involved, but um, it was just a lot of trial and error. I grew up in a small town with about 300 people, and I watched probably too many martial arts movie marathons, and was like, I want to learn how to throw a knife, and I want to be able to do it effectively every single yeah. time. So I just use logic. So the way that you're throwing a knife isn't the way that I've attempted to. That's end over end. Sure. You're kind of throwing it more straight through. So it doesn't so, matter as much the distance as you yeah. can. Can you pin a knife from kind of any distance? Yes. And that's uh, that's what we're going to show you here. Okay. So basically, up close, within 10 feet, I don't want the knife to rotate because I, 10 I foot or less is my... I, I'm, I'm ready to. I want to I give it a try. All right, so this is gonna be five throws for the each of you. Cold, I'm gonna get you, take what I've showed you in just a few minutes yep. that I have, and if, like I said, I mean, you guys would probably benefit from watching the Warrior Poet Society, 100 Deadly I'm Skills. I'm gonna probably have to brush up. I, I'm well. a member. I can, I've got can a login. Take I've seen it, he, he, he act, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll sign but up today. What I'm gonna do is get you guys doing five throws, and we're gonna go for max combat distance, which means the full grip with our thumb on it, just like I showed you up close, which is no spin, because that's slowing down the spin of the knife as much as possible. Yep. Remember, don't put on the brakes, Step in, point the toe, follow through that cut, and let the power out the back. Boom! Okay. Out the back. So you see how it's on its way to two rotations. Yeah, it's on slow its way. the flip down. Don't put the brakes on. Remember, the butt of the knife's got to be. Oh, wait, I can't give there. you no tip. Yeah, yeah. It's a competition. So that's uh, a little better. Yeah. I'm not going to make fun because I'm totally going to do bad as well. So check it out. Yeah, I'm when checking. You're coming it. through. You're helping your knife down. Don't help it down. I'm helping Slap him. it down like Rick James. All right, I'll get him. Like Rick James? Or <laughs> like Rick James. That's all right. That was close. I built the target I thought wide enough. <laughs> Here we go. Again, don't laugh, don't not laugh making at this. fun. <laughs> all right. So now on this last one, I want you to step forward, like, just because I'm going to help you a little bit. That yeah, was yeah. five. That was, f that was five? That, that was, was five. five. Oh. You got to pay me the five bucks. Yay! Two spins. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Like Rick James. James. It was on number six, so it didn't count, but you yeah. nailed it. Yeah, and it's was... kind of center mass. It's a good so, hit. So see, just don't more... think about it. Throw oh, one. Man. That rotation so... was on. You might be. Oh, no. <laughs> Swing and miss, though. Yeah, but I, I, I can see it spinning in the air. Dang it. So I, I can tell where you're at. I can't see. Don't crack your wrist. Follow that through. That and cut where you're aiming. Just cut where you're aiming. Don't think of anything else. Oh, that wasn't you're bad. right. You're now, right. that was, was only a quarter over rotated. Still, it barely overspun. Keep the power all the way through until it goes up behind you. 
Not bad. bad. Yes. Relax your grip a little bit and push all the way through it. Let that power come out behind you. Like, you know what a squib load is? Yep. If you're having a squib load, it's because you're holding back powder. Same thing with your knife. If you hold back power at all and slow Don't. down your hand, it will over-rotate every time you'll have a squib. Don't yeah. squib it. Don't squib it. That was oh, good. Oh, it was close. That was good. Yeah. That still was really not doing good. it. It's still right, close. One more knife. It. All right, let's rock and roll. Here we go. No! Yeah! That was great. <laughs> that was good. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. good. Yeah, made it kind of like split it Man, up. okay, Feel he that slide out. Yeah, he just made it as a cut. So Super there's three or two by six. That is coming out the other end. So that's coming out the other end. That's projection, that's force here, multiplication. Here, I'll just stop. No, 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 <laughs> it is coming out the other end though. Yeah, man, good job. Look at that. All right, folks, super cool knives and tomahawk. Link down below if you're interested in checking that out. Make sure you do the network as well. Before we do this, what, what if I just close this out by just throwing this and just sticking it like, hardcore? You mean I'm like doing the outro and you throw it like, like at like, the end? It'd be like, <laughs> but 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 that but when I do it, I actually like stick it. You know. What Make you sure you uh, follow Pro Knife Thrower and Train Hard, Train Smart. Like, subscribe. Comments, all that. You know, you sh guys should know the things by now. All right, stick them up. Boom! That's awesome. Every time. That's it. Every time. <laughs> Every time he does it. We'll get you here, brother.